Day 5 Airy River Campground to Joanna Beach Campground Distance 14 kilometers. Time 5 and a quarter hours Graded Medium You have now reached halfway You've found your groove Lifted by those thoughts Today is the day for enjoyment To acknowledge that you are achieving Exactly what you set out to do So last night my battery pack went completely dead so for the next four days I'm now just relying on whatever percentage of is left on my batteries so I'm obviously quite disappointed because 70% if not 80% of the reason that I hike is to film it but I can't be too hard on myself because it's a new camera, it's a new battery pack, I'm still engaging my usage which is obviously way too much but uh, I'm about to head down to Joanna Beach for the next two kilometers so I saved some of my battery for that I'm just here about to have some lunch out of the wind and then I'll do my fun walk and reach the campground There she is! Joanna Beach! Stairs! Stairs, stairs, stairs! Day 6, Joanna Beach Campground to Ryan's Den Campground. Distance, 14 kilometers. Time, five hours. Graded, medium to hard. You'll be watched closely by the kangaroos as you make your way through the farmland. The theme of today shall be green, hiking amongst walls of greenery and lush bluegum woodland. stopped to take my rain jacket off had two leeches on me one was like that big a lot of things I can handle leeches not today now I feel like they're all over me
Good morning, day seven. Rumor has it, uh, I was talking to somebody this morning who started yesterday at Joanna Campground. They said today is potentially meant to be 31 degrees. So I'm really happy about that. Turns out I was the only one that got leeches on me yesterday. Lucky me, the chosen one. I stand corrected. Tim had one on his butt. Sorry, Tim. I had another one on my shoe when I arrived to camp yesterday. But luckily it was only small. I shall catch up with you when I do some walking. Day 7. Ryan's Den Campground to Devil's Kitchen Campground. Distance 13 kilometers. Time 5 and a quarter hours. Graded medium to hard. The rewards for today's undulating track means you'll get to rise with the cliff tops and see, hear, and feel the remote coastal sea. I think today is harder than yesterday in terms of hills. It's just been up and down, up and down. I just came up that hill. Cameras never do justice of what a hill really looks like. arrived at Devil's Kitchen and have chosen my campsite. Check this out. Campsite number eight. You get all this space. Get your own little table. And then, and then, wait for it. Wait for it. You get a little view like this and your own little seat. Oh yeah. So speaking of campsites, Blanket Bay is my favorite by far. The others don't even come close. This is probably my second favorite, Devil's Kitchen, just because of my little spot that I get. The campsites are a lot more private than I thought they were. Normally when I think of campsite, I think of like one big sort of cleared area, but these are really like your little tent goes there, your little tent goes there, and yeah, it's a bit more private, which I don't know what is worse or better, but regardless, Blanket Bay is the winner. Baby, what's the problem? You say you want something when you get it, you still feel like something is missing. Who can you depend on? When you pushed everyone away cause you're trying to be so fucking independent The glass is always gone
Considering it was my last night on the track, I thought I would muster up the energy to record a night lapse. I got up at 11pm, which in hiker terms is equivalent to 2am. I rose to find a wallaby just outside my tent. I scared it just as much as it scared me. But to my surprise, there was the most beautiful lightning storm surrounding me. The wallaby continued to munch on the grass by my side. I only had one hour before the rain started, but this is what I captured. Day 8. Devil's Kitchen Campground to the Twelve Apostles. Distance, 16 kilometers. Time, five and a quarter hours. Graded easy to medium. Adrenaline. Today could throw anything at you, or you could get thrown in the wind. But the adrenaline of the final day is all you need to get there. Can you guess what happened next? Dead batteries. Okay, to be fair, I didn't really film that much on the last day because the weather was... So I guess that leaves us to press the recap button. The Great Ocean Walk. Eight days, 100 kilometers. Apollo Bay to the Twelve Apostles. Complete. I've been living in a zoo now, low brow, covered in the city light.